August 14, 1979, a pivotal date that marked a significant shift in the geopolitical landscape of North Africa. It was the day when the region of Oued Edahab returned to Morocco, signifying a key moment in the long and complex saga of decolonization in the Sahara. Our story begins in 1975 with the Madrid Agreement, a hasty political maneuver following the collapse of the Franco regime in Spain. The agreement divided the Spanish colonized territory of Rio de Oro between Morocco and Mauritania, with the southernmost region, Oued Edahab, falling under Mauritanian control. The United Nations had long called for the decolonization of this region, occupied by Spain since the late 19th century. But this rushed partition sparked immediate conflict with the local liberation movement, the Polisario Front. Fast forward a few years to 1979. Mauritania, exhausted by the protracted war with the Polisario Front, decided to withdraw from Edahab. It was then that Morocco, under the rule of King Hassan II, saw an opportunity. On August 14, representatives from the region pledged allegiance to the Moroccan Kingdom, marking the return of Oued Edahab to Morocco. However, this annexation was not without controversy. Deemed illegal under international law, the move was not recognized by the United Nations or its member states, with the notable exception of the United States, which recognized the annexation in December of 2020. Despite the ongoing debate around its legality, the return of Oued Edahab to Morocco has had profound implications. It has solidified Morocco's reunification of the Sahara, emphasized the historical and strategic importance of the region, and led to its rapid development and international recognition. Today, every year on August 14th, Morocco celebrates the allegiance of Oued Edahab, a national holiday commemorating the return of the region to the Moroccan Kingdom. In summary, the events of August 14, 1979, stand as a testament to the complex and often controversial nature of decolonization processes. The return of Oued Edahab to Morocco serves as a stark reminder of the enduring effects of colonial legacies on the contemporary geopolitical landscape.